Today is our first full day on our cruise through the Middle East and last night we sailed from Dubai to Abu Dhabi and we have the full day to explore here. Yesterday we put on our Instagram story that we didn't really have plans today and we asked for recommendations and this super nice lady who lives here offered to pick us up in her car at the cruise port and she's gonna take us around. Oh, no way. <laughs> okay, so this is who we're gonna call Nana <laughs> because they can't pronounce your name. Tell us how to say your real name. Naram. 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 It Naram. means melody. Which is beautiful, but I have a hard time saying it. <laughs> so she said we could call her by her nickname, which is Nana. Nana. She brought us beautiful flowers, and she said she's watched all of her videos, so she knows us really well and brought us to the local fish market, because we love local markets. We're going to go out groomed. I'm so excited to have you here, really. Yay! Finally. <laughs> I've been waiting just from last year, right? So we're walking along the water right now. And she just left her car running back there, not locked or anything. And we just learned that this is one of the safest countries in the world. Yeah, you can leave your phone, your wallet, any place, your car running, and no one will come to it. So apparently, more than half of the population here is not local. No. There's a lot of Indian and Pakistan. 15% maximum of the people here that are locals. So a lot of people are scared that they'll lose their job if and like also they the break security the here is very strong. The police presence is a lot in the streets. Yeah. And everyone loves it. Love that it. it's the safest one yeah. of the safest country. You heard it here, folks. Oh, yes. So one of the good things about being here with a local is my original plan was to buy fish here and get it cooked at a restaurant and eat here because that's what I read to do on the internet and she said there's much better food elsewhere so we're going to be getting a local dish later today. The camera? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Awkward. So now we're at the local vegetable market and there's this little restaurant right here. We're trying the local tea. Yeah, so I'm gonna call it Hada, which is actually what I drank on the border <laughs> <laughs> with the security <laughs> officer when she was going through my bag. And it was super yummy. Cheers. Cheers. What do we get to eat? It's barata, cheese, and chips oman. Oh, it's the yummy bread. Yes. It's bread actually filled with potato chips. That is an amazing combination. <laughs> I love this. Definitely not very healthy, but delicious. And it was so cheap too. Yes. It was eight drums, which is about $3 for two sandwiches and three teas. It's hard to go wrong stuffing barbecue potato chips into a delicious bread. I can't believe that's a thing, but it's so good. Yeah, yeah, no problem. <laughs> okay, one, two. Oh, thank you. 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 So a bus full of Chinese tourists just pulled up behind the car. We we're stopping to take a picture, and they all wanted pictures with the car. And with the girls. That was hilarious. I feel like a celebrity. <laughs> We are now entering the Emirates Palace, which I think should be nicknamed the Golden Palace. 
when, so everything is gold. Whenever we posted on Instagram yesterday asking what we should do in Abu Dhabi, pretty much everybody told us we had to come here. It's a hotel, but they also do a lot of events here. And we heard that there is coffee with golden flakes on top. We just drank a golden cappuccino. Never in my life did I think that I would do something like that. A lot of YouTubers celebrate 100,000 subscribers with golden balloons. Golden coffee is more our style. I like this. Ooh. Wow, that looks incredible. So this is kibba. It's meat stuffed with meat and nuts. This is a chicken liver. We cook it with dibis uh, prominent sauce. And this is a cheese, aged cheese. We mix it with onion and these things and you put olive oil. We also take the grape leaves and we stiff it with rice and meat. Eggplant, fatouche, this is rocca and zaatar. <laughs> Everything on this table is like the best thing I've ever had. Seriously, I love all of it. But now I'm about to try my first chicken liver. Hopefully I'm saving the best for last, but I have a feeling. Mm. It's the texture. It's a very like mushy, pasty kind of texture. But the sauce on the outside, I will say, is a really nice taste. Probably won't go back for seconds, but I will go back for seconds when everything else. That looks intense. Oh my God. Even though we just finished a Lebanese feast, you're only in the city that has the fastest roller coaster in the world once, maybe once, and we've been given the opportunity to ride it, so we are now at Ferrari World. We couldn't film for obvious reasons. It went 240 kilometers an hour. I it, couldn't breathe. I went to like scream and then my mouth was instantly dry from the wind. It goes straight up so fast. I've been on a ton of roller coasters <laughs> and I love them and I can tell you I've never lost my breath like that. Like it was like as soon as it started just couldn't breathe and I was frozen. I would have loved to have had time to stay here all day but we're trying to get to the Grand Mosque before the sun goes down so we have to go. Nana's waiting on us. The Grand Mosque. <laughs> I 
incredibly gorgeous and we've learned a few fun facts from Nana. First of all, that was the biggest carpet in the world it from Iran. It weighed 35 tons and took 1,300 people to make. And they have the third largest chandelier in there, which is also beautiful. And who was they? Their leader, who's been dead for 10 years, the founder of the UAE, everybody loved him. Apparently after people die, sometimes people read the Quran to them, and he's never been alone in his grave. He's buried here. Somebody's been constantly reading to him. Like in shifts for 11 years. And this is the largest mosque in the entire United Arab Emirates. And they gave me this pretty thing to wear <laughs> on top of my clothes for free. Naram, you are the best. This is the best day ever and I love Abu Dhabi. We woke up this morning, our plan was to try to figure out how to take the public <laughs> bus around to some of the major sites. So like three things. I told her the only problem was this was our first full day on the cruise and I don't know how we're gonna beat this. Massive. That's right. I was gonna say yacht. Who is king of the rock? That sounds like a human. Ah! 